Where does this leave the Prime Minister? That was the, the middle of the day. After that, we had a whole series of uh, seemingly chaotic developments surrounding the Home Secretary, surrounding the whips, surrounding voting in the Commons and allegations of, of, of other MPs being sort of manhandled into voting lobbies. Where does this leave the Prime Minister? Well, uh, she only added to Keir Starmer's list of what was gone from her premiership. She lost two of the holders of the great offices of state. She's lost her economic strategy, and now her only connection to her core is Brexit. And yet, because of the replacement of Suella Braverman with Grant Shapps as the Home Secretary, she's now surrounded in her cabinet by Remainers, her political enemies, people who supported Rishi Sunak, the former chancellor, to be the leader of the party in the summer leadership election. And the party seems to have lost its dignity. You had backbenchers absolutely livid when they were being interviewed in the Commons late last night. So Liz Truss is looking desperate. It seems that she's doomed. And if she goes today, she would be the shortest serving prime minister in British history. I'm going to be keeping an eye out for that podium in Downing Street today. And in case we forget, this is just the chaos in Westminster outside in the real world in the UK people have got higher mortgages because of as T.S. Lombard put it the more on risk premium yeah that said guilt yields did continue to drop yesterday so maybe we're watching uh, markets trying to disconnect from all the chaos in Westminster um, and just just wanted to mention one of the lines coming through in one of our most recent reports Lizzie uh, in a statement sent at 1 30 this morning the Prime Minister's press secretary said she would be taking disciplinary action against MPs who voted against the government a sense just briefly Lizzie that the fight isn't quite over. I mean, you can't say more than... I mean, that was 1.30. Who knows how things have developed between then and now. And yet, somehow, the Prime Minister herself didn't manage to vote uh, because she was chasing the chief whip around, begging her not to resign. Mm -hmm. Absolute chaos.